write down fundamental accounting concepts fundamental accounting concepts we have not discussed them till now let us discuss them now ayyo sir we are coming to end of syllabus we are discussing the concepts now we'll discuss few concepts today one separate entity concept two money measurement concept three going concern concept cost concept we we'll discuss these few concepts today okay separate entity concept what do you mean by separate entity concept the accountant is going to assume that business is an entity according to the accountant business is a person distinct from the owner he is saying owner is separate business is separate according to the accountant he is the accountant of the business for him business is a person he is recording the transactions of a person called as the business in the books of accounts of the person called as the business so he is maintaining account in whose books business books of account he is treating the business as a person separate from the owner why because if you start treating the owner and the business as one and the same person owner's personal incomes owner's personal expenses have to be included in the books of accounts of the business which may not help us to understand the correct performance of the business if you want to know the correct results of business operations that is profit or loss from business in business books you should record only business incomes and business expenses business transactions only to start recording owners personal incomes personal expenses personal assets will not come to know the real performance of the business whether business is making profits or losses will not to come to know the correct financial position of the business okay so that is why the accountant will say i am accountant of a person called as the business for this person i am going to maintain separate books of accounts according to me even owner is outsider that is why an owner gives money to the business we show it as capital liability when the owner takes away money from the business we say drawings receiver debtor are you understand that is why we treat capital as a liability in our books of accounts legally in the case of sole proprietorship business in the case of partnership business according to law business and owners are one and the same person but accounting purposes they are different law purpose one and the same but company for law purpose and for accounting purpose we treat it as a separate legal entity clear next money measurement concept According to money measurement concept, I'll give you an example. Manager has been bitten by a mosquito and is now suffering from dengue. The manager of the business. Without him, the business is suffering because employees are happily sitting in an office and doing chit chat. Labor in the factory is also sitting in the factory and doing chit chat. They are not doing work properly. So without the manager, companies losing sales, companies losing profits. 
because of his ill health. Can you record it in your books of accounts? Can you say Dengu mosquito account that are to cash account or Dengu mosquito account or to bank account? Even though the business is suffering some losses, it is not possible to measure the loss actually. Unless you can measure a particular transaction, business transaction with a scale or with a tape called as money, it cannot be recorded in business books of accounts. Okay? Now, there is a very popular business. Suddenly the promoter dies. It is doubtful. Whether there will be a lot of impact on the company, but can you record an entry in your books? No. Give one more example. There are two managers working in a company. Production manager in charge of production. Sales manager in charge of sales. Production manager has ego problems with sales manager. Sales manager also has ego problems with production manager. What he says, this guy is not going to listen. What sales manager says, this guy is not going to listen. So when sales manager requests the production manager to produce goods, he will say, I not produce goods. Now when he produces goods, he will say, I not sell. So who is going to suffer? Company is going to suffer. But can you pass an entry? Production manager account return to sales manager account or sales manager ego account return to production manager ego account. It's not possible to record this entry in your books of accounts. So any transaction or event to be recorded in the books, first of all, it should be capable of being measured with a scale called as money. Only transactions and events which can be measured in terms of money can be recorded in business books of accounts. That is called as money measurement concept. Next, going concern concept. We assume that business is going to continue in the future. In whatever near future we observe, we assume that the business is going to continue. It is not going to be closed. It's not going to be shut down. That assumption is called as going concern. When you purchase a machine, what is the entry you enter? Machine account, data to bank account. At the end of the year, do we send it to the graveyard? Do we send it to the profit and loss account or do we keep it alive? Only small part will cut, we will put it in the PL account as depreciation. Remaining part will join the balance sheet. We keep it alive. We write it off gradually over 5 years or 10 years. That means on the day you purchase machine, you assume in your mind that life of the machinery is 10 years. My business is going to continue for 10 years. It is not correct to show the entire expenditure in current day at PNL account. I have to gradually write it off. So when you are passing this entry, machinery to bank, you are assuming in your mind that business will continue going concern concept. That means you know this concept already. This concept you know, first entry you wrote, wrote. in CPT, first entry I taught you, cash account, debtor to capital account was based on this concept. Money measurement concept, however you know, going concern concept, the day you pass an entry for purchase of an asset, you understand what is going concern concept. Next, cost concept. What do you mean by cost concept? Assets should be shown in the balance sheet at cost. Land, building, machinery, furniture, vehicles, stock. Assets should be shown in the balance sheet at cost. What do you mean by cost? Money outlay out of our pocket to acquire the asset. To buy the asset. Whatever I have spent out of my pocket, at that cost I have to show the asset in the balance sheet. The only change accepted is depreciation. The only change accepted in the value is depreciation. If there is no depreciation, same value should appear every year. That is called as what concept? Cost concept. We ignore the market value on the balance sheet day. Suppose we have purchased 10 acres of land in high tech city 20 years ago for 10 lakhs. 20 years ago, 10 acres land in high tech city you purchased for 10 lakh. Today value is 1000 crores. 1000 crores. 
but in your books you are showing only 10 lakh. Correct? Cost concept. You are ignoring the market value. Is it clear? That is what is what concept? Cost concept. We will stop for the day. We will continue in. Tomorrow I will not take a class. I will continue on Monday. I am not feeling well actually. Monday we will continue. Monday I will start a new topic. Monday I will start consignment.